Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Eight. And we're sleeping in the Abbey! And I should mention, not being tortured, which is awesome! Wait, why isn't anything... Oh, we had to hit a button, okay, well, jeez. Uh, okay. Yes, we are. I realize I said it before the funeral, but I just wanted to assure you that everyone knows you're innocent. If it weren't it's what we've you, been trying to tell you. Cello could well have been killed too. We're all in your debt. Okay. Anyway, the Templar captain has summoned you to his office. Okay. See you later then. Don't forget. We won't. Ah, happy music. Okay, good. You know, I wonder, like... Alright. Oh, we can't just wake him up. Okay, cool. <laughs> Couldn't sleep at all last night. Do-do-do-do. Just thinking of you. Yes, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Yeah, he did give us the slip. Thanks. Okay. Anyway, uh... Wait, what was I going to say? Oh, hi! This is Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 8. Did I say that already? I don't even... I don't know. Hmm. Oh, you. <laughs> Captain's been waiting for you. Hurry up. Well, I guess we are late sleepers. Alright. What do you want? Ah, there you are. I trust you slept well. King Trode has explained everything. <laughs> oh, okay. apologize for having doubted you. Dual Magus is the true culprit. That's what we've been trying to tell you. Goddess, we must strike down that diabolical jester. We are already going to do that. I cannot leave here now. As the new abbot, I have much to do. I must be here to guide my people. Okay. So, I was wondering, according to what King Trode tells me, you are all pursuing Dual Magus. We are, yeah. So I have a proposal. Okay. I would like my brother Angelo to accompany you on your quest. Hmm. Brother. I thought you said you wouldn't have a rule breaker as a brother. Don't get to choose your family, man. Quiet. You don't. I wasn't talking to you. Angelo. You are the only one we can spare at the moment. I definitely have had so I have some troubled Everyone relatives, so like I said, you can't to fulfill. You can't choose your family. Or without such responsibilities. I'm useless, you mean? No need to beat about the bush. Well, no, you're just a gambling Fine, cheater. I understand. You've made yourself perfectly clear. I will leave the Abbey. I will travel with these people. And I will avenge the Abbot's murder. Damn right you will. Let's get going. I'll be waiting by the carriage with Medea then. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nobody cares what you do, Trode. You don't this fight. This is a map of the world. If you're going to catch Dulmagus, I'm sure you'll find it indispensable. It is going to be indispensable. The Consider world map is awesome. Peace offering for having doubted you and your friends. Please. Yeah, this is, as far as acquisitions go through the plotline, this is huge stuff. Like, uh, because, I mean, world map. Very well, then. I entrust Angelo to your care, and wish you well on your journey. Okay. Yeah, we'll take good care of Angelo. Like, yeah. <laughs> He's, he definitely needs to be looked after. All right. Always the wrong door with me. I hate this Abbey. Oh my god. Alright. I think over by one of these stairs, there should be a pot we can break. 
But, uh... I'm not seeing it. It might be at the top. I don't... Well, you know, it's... It's pretty rare that my research leads me astray, but... It's not there, so... Onward. You know, everybody gets one wrong every once in a while. All right, and there he is. Standing where we can't get around him. Well, it looks like we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. I hope you don't mind me coming along. Yeah, I'm you're an extra sword. Marcello ordered me to. I'm doing it for Abbot Francesco. Okay. He was like a father to me. That jester, Dulmagus. He can't get away with this. And this place. I'll be glad yeah. to risk it. It's no hardship being asked to join you, believe me. And anyway, I promised you, didn't I? I said I'd reward you for helping me. So, Jessica, from now on, I'll protect you. <laughs> I won't leave your side. Consider me your personal bodyguard. <laughs> sure, Romeo, in your dreams. <laughs> I like that. That's fun. Oh, look at Angela dance! <laughs> look at him dance! Alright. Anyway. I love that. There's something about video game characters dancing. Always funny. Okay, let's hit the road. Oh, except that dance in uh, Final Fantasy VIII. That thing was just really cool. They did a really good job with that. But, I mean, you know, that that definitely was a far more serious RPG than this is. Like, this RPG is good. It's fun. It's got a great mix of humor, but it is very humorous. Whereas Final Fantasy VIII, almost no humor. I mean, just dark, serious, creepy abandonment stuff. Just... Alright, so here we are. This is our world map. Those dots are places we have been. There you go. I think the way it works is blue dots... Or places that you can use a Chimera Wing to get back to. And the other ones are places that you've been that you can't do that. So now let's see how Angela works here. Nice! Yeah, yeah, Genghis! Alright. All right, so now there's four people in our party. These are the only four we're gonna get. I, you know, I hate to, I hate to say it like that, but um, there's no Domingo in this game that you can find uh, without. But you could beat the hope. I don't know. Sorry, it's a horrible video game reference from Shining Force. There's a character called Domingo that you you can play the whole game without ever knowing what the hell, like that it, it's even possible for that character to show up. He's a great character, too, if I remember correctly, that if you really work with him, he gets super powerful magic. I wish I owned a copy of Shining Force. Shining Force is an awesome game. I would so LP Shining Force in a heartbeat. Anyway. Yeah, I remember that was, like, one of the first games that, like, as an, uh, an adult or, like, a teenager, I played it and just went, This game is just awesome. It's just so good. Like, the way the battle scenes were set up and it just looks so cool. And like now, I mean, the way battle scenes look in games is so a million miles above that that it doesn't matter, but... I mean, th that stuff looks really dated now, but it was cool at the time. The moment of truth. Reinforced boomerang. This thing is gonna, well, this will get us through so much of the game. Like, it's just such a crazy item to be able to make at this point, so. So now we'll go back to doing our double medicinal herb for, uh, for strong medicine thing. I don't know, it's something to do. I, I, I will not very often not have the alchemy pot running because, like, again, the alchemy pot is awesome, so. Alright, so let's equip this bad boy. Yeah, that's just amazing. 
So yeah, and you'll uh, you'll see the difference. I mean, like that's a big enough jump in attack that like we're gonna do some real damage now. And we've got a long trip ahead of us, just for everybody, just to warn everybody. And there's some stuff I want to do along the way, so it's not gonna make it any shorter. Again, sorry everybody. Alright, I suppose at some point it'll probably make sense for me to start cutting out enemy battles because, like, you know, you guys don't need to watch these random encounters with things we've seen a bunch of times before, like dinglings and bullfinches. We've been seeing them since we stepped off the boat. Again, I'll still show, like, levels up, level ups and stuff like that, like. Alright, and see? Like, look how cool the world map is. It shows us, like, what to expect up ahead. There's, like, a turn around some cliffs and stuff. Awesome. I know, a lot of help, huh? So, yeah, uh, how's everybody doing? We're fine! The country looks beautiful! It's a nice summer day! It is a nice summer day. Alright, we just fought a bunch of dinglings, but I probably won't show that because, like I said, I'm gonna start kinda cutting out the repetitive battles, so. Uh, nothing exciting happened. Just some dinglings. <laughs> Oh my god. Bad diggle. Oh, sorry. Nah, I'm not singing that song. Although, uh, I do remember a, a Simpsons thing where a kid's singing at a talent show and, uh, Principal Skinner just freaks out. He's just like, This song is over! Alright. So, this is the next version of Satyrs, I guess. Pan Pipers. Yeah, get him, Angelo. Wow, these guys are kind of tough. Take that. Oh, right. I had nothing great there either, but, like, I'm going to have to show this one because, yeah, like, new enemy, so. All right, and that's going to happen. I mean, as we obviously go down the path and enter new areas, like, We've, we've been traveling a while now, so we will definitely see new stuff. We're, uh, we're, this path crosses the river up ahead. That's what we're, uh, that's what we're looking for. That's where we're going to have some stuff to do, so. Oh, brownies. I don't think those are the same as the ones, they can't be the same as the ones we saw, but what were those guys called? They were like hood somethings or I don't know. Hey, you jerk. Hey! Wow! And quite a little organized fleet there. Oh, we, we got the one that was laughing at us. Whoa! Wow! He can throw sand and blind us. And look at that, he got three of us. He got everybody but Jessica. Which is good, because we need her to do that. So, when you're blinded like that, it doesn't mean you'll never hit. It just means that it really lowers. Yeah, because, like, Genghis was blinded and he hit, so... So it makes sense to just keep attacking. That was a great haul for experience. 236. Alright. I know it's obnoxious that I keep opening this thing, but like, I just kind of want to see. <laughs> like, all right, more brownies. Yeah, we'll see how good it you do without your jargon, running around and throwing sand in people's eyes. You jerks. I've said jerk a lot. Although it's it's not gonna beat that time that I was like, where I just went on the rant and like every third word was jerk, and I think I titled the video that jerk's a jerk. <laughs> oh, we gotta take care of that guy. He's gonna tension it up to a hundred. Like that's gonna be a real problem if he actually gets to attack. He'll probably kill somebody. Never mind. It was not an issue. Hey, Yankus gotta level up. Yay, Yankus! I love you, man. 
Nine skill points. See, that's what I'm talking about. In the humanity it goes. He becomes considerate. He learns share magic, which is not a thing we'll ever use. Well, maybe. It allows him to give his magic points to other people. So, so this house up here is right on the river that we were looking for, so... And this will be good because right across the stream is a place where we can save our game and stuff, so... Haha! <laughs> you fell! Wow! See, take that! That's what the reinforced boomerang is, is worth for us. I mean, like, it's killing enemies that are third and fourth in the lineup. I mean, yeah, they're slimes, but... Yeah, you show him, Jessica. Alright, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up the barrels in this house and smash them. And then when we leave, I'm going to shut down the video because when we cross the river, there's going to be some stuff that we can't get out of. So, uh, according to my notes and stuff. Um, so, uh, I'll be shutting this down. So, you know, thanks for watching everybody. You guys take care. And uh, I think that's it. So, uh, bye everybody.